Hey friends, welcome to One Little Coder. Are you excited about the large language model space or the generative AI space that is really heating up? Like with tools like GPT-3, ChatGPT, everybody has been talking about it and then everybody wants to incorporate these tools inside their own application. For example, a couple of days back, Bing announced, Microsoft Bing, the search engine, announced that they are going to include ChatGPT per, or ChatGPT or ChatGPT-like functionality within their search interface. And this is becoming a growing trend with every company wanting to include a large language model inside their tool to enhance their uh, search capability and a lot more other things. If you wanted to use these kind of tools for your own application, or if you wanted to build a brand new application on top of large language models, I'm going to tell you about two important open source libraries that can help you make your life really, really easy to do this thing. Why this is important, why, how these libraries can make a difference. That's exactly what we are going to discuss in this video. Let's get started. The first thing is the first library's name is Langchain. Langchain, Langchain, I don't know how do you pronounce it. It's, it's, it's Langchain. So Langchain is saying that they are going to help you in building applications with LLMs, large language models through composability. Let's, let's say, what does it mean? It means the word chain here helps you chain things. For example, let's say you have you want to build a large language model based document retrieval application or a search semantic search application. Typically, what you would need to do is you need to handle the context with which the model GPT model can handle. Like, for example, if you have got, got a prompt, it has certain limitation about how much text it can take it as a prompt and then it can give a result. But if you want to go beyond that and if you want to you know, supply your own corpus of data, and then you want the large language model to do, let's say question and answering, chatbot, um, similarity search, and a lot of these things, then that is exactly when you need to use Langchain because Langchain is going to make your life a lot easier, one. Second, it has got a lot of connectors, like you can connect with OpenAI API, you can connect with certain hugging face models, you can connect with solutions like sentence transformers, but again, Langchain also has got the ability for you to scale it up as a proper software in, like software application. And that's what Langchain says. What is this? A large language models are emerging as transformating technology. This library is aimed at assisting in the development of those kind of applications where instead of just using a large language model as a vanilla large language model, what if you can supply your knowledge, your text, your corpus, that extra addendum, extra layer if you want to add. And that is exactly where a library like Langchain helps you. Some examples what you can do with Langchain, you can build a question and answering application for a certain type of document. Let's say you've got your internal knowledge base in your company and you want to use that to build a search engine for your own employees. You can use Langchain. You want to build a chatbot, you can use Langchain. You want to build agents like bot AI bots, you can use Langchain and their documentation is really good. If you click here, you can see uh, how, you know, Langchain can help you. They've got good details and the details are primarily in the modules. Like if you see the modules, you can see they've got prompt templates. You have got language models like connectors and they've got document loaders. They've got certain utilities. They've, and one important thing is they've got these chains how you know you can combine things like more like pipes and these are certain things that you can do with lang lang chain and you can also see a lot of examples here let me know in the comment section if you actually like to see a hands on tutorial about using lang chain to build one of the tool one of the applications like let's say a question and answering for your custom text i'm very happy to do that so this is primarily lang chain and there are a lot of a uh, lot of information here like what is a chain what is a large language model prompt all this information you can actually read for yourself but i just wanted to give you an introduction about how langchain can make a difference in your own workflow now now you might think hey um, I, it, this is all well and good but i don't want to just simply use langchain i want something slightly easier than langchain uh, slightly uh, easy for me to use like maybe you're not like a very good software engineer or you don't have that much time to explore a very comprehensive library like langchain what if you got something like let's say like streamlit or gradio what it is doing in the world of web application development for data applications what if you want something like that on top of langchain that's exactly what we are going to talk about next 
which is GPT index. GPT index is currently exploring a new name. So maybe while you are watching this video in the future, maybe this is not going to be named GPT index. I don't know. But right now they're exploring different names just to not have any lawsuit from OpenAI probably in the future. But right now it's called GPT index. It's again an open source project. This project is actually from Jerry Liu. It's a very interesting project. By uh, large, like a lot of internals of GPT index uses Langchain. So that's something for you to note and also for us to acknowledge. Now, what is GPT index? GPT index is a project. It has got certain data structures for you to use external knowledge base together with language models. So you've got vanilla language models like let's say GPT-3, GPT-3.5, Instruct GPT, and then you've got your own text corpus, like your, um, your knowledge base. Now, what if you need to combine these two? We just saw that we can use Langchain, but you don't, you don't need sophistication. You don't need a lot of things. Then you can actually use GPT index that can help you do it in like very easily. Now at its core, GPT index contains a toolkit of index structures that's designed to easily connect with large language models with your external data. And what kind of things that GPT index can help you with? One of the biggest concern with large language models is the prompt size. Every large language model comes with its own context space. And if you go beyond that, sometimes it might ignore it. Sometimes it might not use it. You can handle that with GPT index. Next, abstract your common usage patterns. Um, like you, you don't have to code everything. The next thing is provide data connectors to common sources. Like for example, you've got Google documents, um, you've got like Slack uh, messages. So those kind of things you can connect it. And uh, then there is like a transparency, um, like tool transparency, how you can reduce cost. One of the things that you need to remember with the tools like OpenAI is they're all token based costing. So it's very important for you to optimize your cost when you're using these kind of tools. And GPT index says like they can help you with that. And what kind of things that you can build with GPT index? You can build question and answering, summarizing, solu summarization solution, text generation solution like email generation, tweet generation, uh, blog post generation, all those things. And then you've got a really good documentation. It's quite easy to use. Um, the documentation is very good. And you've got certain, um, certain easy get started solutions that are easily available. And it also tells you like how you can do use it with the lang chain, how you, you can use it with uh, some other uh, embedding solutions. And all these things are available. And if you actually see an example, it's quite simple. So you can simply see this code. Um, it just initialize your OpenAI key and then you can load the data and then you have got the index, save the index anytime you want, retrieve it and start asking questions from the index. It's quite simple. I wouldn't say very simple, but it's quite good. And I think if you are, uh, let's say if you're exploring a startup solution, if you're exploring your own product solution, I think today using GPT index or Lang chain could be effective for you to reduce technical debt, for you to do a lot of things easily. If you do not know the right way, if you do not know the best way to do it, I think these libraries give you really good solutions and tools and utilities that can help you make a really good large language model solution, web application, whatever you want to do. And you can see like on the internet, a lot of people have been already developing solutions like this using Langchain and GPT index. So that's why I actually make, wanted to make this video. This is not a typical video that I would usually make, like it's not a hands-on tutorial, but still I wanted to quickly introduce these two libraries, Langchain and GPT index, both are open source. Like that's, that's another good thing. Both are open source. You can, you can, you can use it for free and then build your own large language model application that can be robust, scalable quite good and deployable. So if that is what you wanted to do, definitely check out Langchain and GPT index. Let me know in the comment section what you think about this kind of video format where I don't necessarily code, but it's a short video where I explain you something interesting and that can help you in um, building something new in AI, generative AI space. I hope this was helpful to you. If you have any question, let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, these two links will be in the YouTube description. Definitely check it out. See you in the next video. Peace.